Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up a security pin code for your Starfire 6000 receiver. This can be done on any Starfire 6000 receiver in supported display configuration. A security pin code would be beneficial to you if you would like to lock your Starfire 6000 receiver when you are not using it to make it inoperable to a user who does not know the security pin password. A quick note before we get started. Your Starfire 6000 receiver must be registered in your My John Deere customer account through Stellar Support in order to obtain a master unlock code, which we will use later in this video. Starting from the run page, we will click on the menu button, the system tab, and then the diagnostic center application. Here, we will click on the controller diagnostics tab and then Starfire vehicle navigation. On this page, we will scroll down to where the address line that shows a numerical value shows the number 50. We will click on that number 50. Here we will click on 0 and we will enter 1. This will enable the locking ability of our Starfire receiver. Now we can close out of these and go back to the run page. From the run page, we will click on the button that says ISOBUS VT at the bottom of your screen. Here you will notice a new padlock icon. We will click on Enable Security Pin Code. Here you will be asked to enter a four digit pin code for your administrator password. This is for the owner of the Starfire receiver. The next screen asks you to input a pin code for your operator. You will be asked when you like the PIN codes to expire. And now your security password is all set up. You will be prompted to enter your four digit security PIN passcode on a cold boot startup. If you accidentally forget or enter the wrong security PIN passcode, you will be notified that you have four attempts remaining. If you do not enter the correct security pin passcode after five total attempts, you will have to go to Stellar Support to retrieve a master unlock code in order for you to regain access to your Starfire receiver. We can also disable this feature by clicking on the padlock, then disable security pin code. Here, you must be the administrator or know the administrator password in order for you to disable the security pin feature. You'll click enter and it will ask you if you'd like to keep your pins for storage or delete the pins. Also to make a quick note we'll go to the ISOBUS VT page under the setup tab. Here we will look at where it says hours after shutdown. This is important because your machine and system will not fully shut down until after the selected time. In this case a security pin code entry is only required after a cold shutdown. Thank you for watching this video.